Hey, I'm Saket Verma. I'm Director Consulting for the Security and Resiliency Practice for Kindrel India. I lead the business for the Security and Resiliency for the India subcontinent. Yeah, so certain guidelines are pretty comprehensive on the expectations from the enterprises, not only in terms of the uh, you know, the reporting timeline and framework, but also in terms of organizationally, how the how they how how they uh, the companies and the organizations are expected to organize themselves better, and what kind of incidents are to be reported, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So what this does is it formalizes the whole concept of reporting, a and being above all conscious about the importance of incidents as and when they happen. Um, also then certain will bring to bear their own powers on all the you know uh, uh, challenges which uh, the client faces the organizations face post a response post a incidents um, certain will bring to bear their competence their expertise etc to help the organizations as well so in a way it is formalizing and ensuring that uh, enterprises are compliant to the directives and it is not left as a you know, uh, as afterthought on part of the organizations. Um, in terms of the Data Protection, uh, Data Personal Data Protection Act, yes, it will, it will uh, help uh, in incidents response, but that will be slightly more long-term-ish because data security in itself has taken a lot of, um, you know, focus and energy of the organizations. And to a certain extent, organizations have already evolved and matured to a certain level. So. I think uh, there will be definitely direct and indirect benefits for the organizations in their in incidence response uh, frameworks as well. Yeah, very good question. I think um, largely the concept of zero trust, that encompasses end to end, you know, the whole philosophy of ensuring that we are future proofing the organizations from a cyber security uh, perspective. That is largely a approach or a philosophy or a methodology and that entails end-to-end um, -end most of the cyber security controls, processes, technology, people, etc. So that's, that's very important and I can not but include Zero Trust as one of the guiding uh, lights uh, on, in one's quest for future-proofing the organization. The second aspect is the, is the technologies, any technology which helps in faster detection of the malware, you know, far, faster isolation um, you know of the you know of the malware so uh, so 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 the technologies on log analysis uh, are i think very going to be very critical and there's a lot of work being done there because of the ai ml pixie dust that we have the other and the last and the third one would be anything which uh, which helps you to respond faster right and ensure that the, the, the response is more targeted in terms of, uh, let's say, even, e even in terms of the threat hunting and the threat simulation technology. So you try and prevent the threat to the extent possible. And again, the way technologies are evolving, that will be possible. That is, we are reaching a, a stage where a lot, of, lot of this work is being done through the AIML uh, frameworks. So basically, to summarize, zero trust approach you know, faster threat detection, um, threat and and new technologies on threat hunting dimensions. These would be the three. Yeah, so ultimately, I mean, the single most important metric should be the reduction in the number of incidents itself, A. B is the reduction number of false positives, right? Then what is the mean time to isolation? Mean time to isolate, you know, let's say a malware rather than the mean time to respond or to, to, to recover. So I think mean time to isolate or mean time to detect is going to be a very important metric uh, as well, right? So these are some of the very fundamental metrics which, which uh, you know, are, are being observed and are being monitored to ensure that the health, overall health, cyber security and cyber resiliency health of the organization is improving. And, um, and, and the other metric, uh, definitely would be the incremental improvements which are being done over a period of time. Let's say organization targets to improve these metrics by a certain percentage, quarter on quarter or year on, or year on year. So that improvement metric definitely is a very important part of the overall framework because that's how you improve.
Yeah, ETC, so event uh, definitely differentiates itself on three dimensions as far as I am concerned. One is definitely the scale that we see at ETC, so I think the kind of industry participation, um, that's very healthy. So the, the sheer scale is pretty comprehensive, right? So it's a very good rep representation of our, our market and the industry. The second is, I think, uh, on the sheer content. So, so we, the format and the content that helps bring out a lot of burning, uh, you know, topics which we want to discuss with our industry colleagues and all. And the last part, last but not least, is I think ETC so uh, this year definitely had some innovative sparks as well, like uh, the innovation hub track, uh, hub track, and others. So that was also good. So I think that um, uh, that uh, bit of uh, you know sparks of innovation they definitely help. So. So I think the scale, quality of content, and the innovative uh, ideas that ETC so Conclave has brought to bear on all of us, that's really appreciated.